Many of you have seen this very disturbing and alarming video that has just been produced by a rock band where they're using Gurbani in order to promote dancing and the Yogi Bhajan Tantric and Kundalini Yoga practice to be done with Gurbani. Now, as I said, this is very disturbing. Just listen here for a few seconds to this video that is still on YouTube. Okay, I think you've got the idea. Now, what is disturbing is, is this whole album was released in order to promote dancing to Gurbani. Here is the web page for this group. They call the album Kundalini Kritronika, which is inspired, I'm sure, by Yogi Bhajan's teachings. They say as much. It says, these are art grooves. Kratonica merges a dance venue pulse with this Gurbani. It says this anticipated album is be bumping at yoga fests, yoga studios, divinely attuned house parties across the country. So this album is clearly for the purpose of inspiring people to dance to Gurbani, instigating people to use yoga exercises, tantric and kundalini yoga exercises in their practice of and use Gurbani with it. So you can here see the list in the menu for the album and it includes several Shabads from Gurbani. I also want to point out here this narrative it was published by the group. And in this narrative, one of the group members said that she was inspired by Yogi Bhajan. It says here, Kundalini Yoga is taught by Yogi Bhajan, drawing us into the movement through mantras, beats, and live instruments. So all of this has been clearly instigated by Yogi Bhajan and the 3HO people. It's really sad to see this has come to this. So you can just stop this video or you, I'll put a link to this uh, web page for the group and then you can read their entire, entire narrative about this and see how they came to uh, practice this unseek like disrespect for Gurbani. Now, I want to point out here how SeekNet has directly inspired these people. This was a video that Gurmustik and Garuka did, I believe it was a few months ago, where they talk about how it's okay to dance to Gurbani. I'll play some of the clips from that video in a second. But first, just read some of these excerpts that were written down by the Seek Free Press in an article which explains how Sikhs in India, Sarjeet Singh and Wake Up Sikhs, have been promoting a petition to stop these 3HO people and SeekNet from promoting this dancing to Gurbani. Garuka says here, he says, this is about energy in the second tantric yoga chakra. When you're dancing, there's the juice, there's the ecstasy. Understand sexual energy is sexual energy. Why Guru is ecstasy. Why Guru is dancing. It's just really shameful how SeekNet has been promoting and inspiring these type of dancing to Gurbani. Gurmustik here 
says they, they were chanting Waiguru during that portion of the video, and people were just enjoying and moving around and swinging their bodies. There were, they, there were all these negative comments. I saw something very different. He was speaking about this rock concert that uh, Sanatam Kar was playing at, where she uh, starts to chant Waiguru and everybody started dancing. Now here's more proof about how this group has been inspired by Yogi Bhajan. You can see here directly this was a message that they sent to a Sikh a few days ago. It says here, this mantra in particular we learned through the Kundalini Yoga tradition as taught by Yogi Bhajan. He emphasized a lot of dance and chanting, thus where this music was inspired. Part of our work, we feel, is to bridge worlds to new audiences and, and new age groups. Now, they've taken down the video from Facebook, the one where they're dancing. But this, the one on YouTube still remains. And I hope that this group really considers completely taking the album off the market that they created. Looks like they might do that, but we'll see. We still need to keep the pressure on and keep telling them that this is completely against Gurmat teachings. Now this Garuka really has a history of Vyadvi against Gurbani. He actually kept Yogi Bhajan's fingernails in his Nitnam and or Gutka Saab. This is complete Vyadvi against Gurbani. You can read about it in this article that he wrote, this hanging on his fingernails. So Garuka, a Sikh nut, really has a very poor record and we should beware of him as Sikhs of the Guru. I'll play for you a little bit of Sikh nut's inspirational video here. You can hear what Garuka and Kermustik have to say about dancing. Oftentimes um, I hear topics about um, people talking about dancing and how dancing is something that is against the Sikh lifestyle, against the Sikh way of life. And I've thought about this often and I've gone through other pro pro processes on my own looking at this and um, I, you know, some of it had to do with, like when I when I was younger and a teenager and I had a certain phase, and I went out to clubs, and I was kind of identifying with my own self. And I know many people who, uh, you know, go out drinking, and you know, people relate Bhangra and the, kind of like some of the maybe negative sides of some certain things that are associated with dancing as bad. And um, and then when I think about uh, um, and there were all these negative comments and people were like, oh my God, this is wrong. How can they, and I was, whatever is expressing their, their, their self in terms of the way that people relate to dancing and what is considered, um, something that is good or bad. Like, you know, we might have a child who in the joy, that's like a religious experience for them. Or even, uh, you know, one of the things that came up recently, there was a video of Sanatam Kar. She was at a concert in Barcelona, and there were thousands of people there. Most of those, probably very few of them were Sikhs. And she was, they were chanting Wahiguru at, during that portion of the video. And people were just in joy and moving around and swaying their body. And people, and there were all these negative comments, and people were like, oh my God, this is wrong. How can they... The whole universe is dancing. Atoms are dancing. Molecules are dancing. The cells in your body are dancing. The energy is dancing. Everything is dancing. Everything is dancing to the Shabbat. The whole universe is moving and dancing. Dancing. Dancing is life. This isn't about dancing. This is about somebody's judgment. 
Does this mean that as, as you go up and you become 9, 10 on the holy meter, that means you should always sit absolutely seriously and never move around? Because the more still you sit, the holier you are. <laughs> you think it's disrespectful to move your body? Look, this is about somebody's judgment about energy in the second chakra. That when you're dancing, there's juice, there's a flow, there's the energy is moving, right? And in that, there's an ecstasy. If you want to express that energy through your second chakra, and you know you want to bump and grind and everything, that's how that energy is coming out. But when you act afraid of it, and you say, that's wrong, that's bad, that's lust, this dancing is wrong, therefore, you know, then it becomes all dancing is wrong. Where do you draw the line between good dancing and bad dancing? Between right dancing and wrong dancing? All right, then you have to say, well, we'll just say all dancing is bad. That's okay. You can say whatever you want. God is still dancing. <laughs> That's the nature of God. To be moving, to be dancing, to be in a rhythm, to be in a beat. It's the nature of life. The first Shabbat that a child hears is the mother's heartbeat. Boom, 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 boom. The beat of the heart, the flow of the blood in the mother. That primal rhythm is embedded in the consciousness and being of the child. So it's music and beat and dancing, all these things are just totally natural part of life. It's just that somebody has made some judgment. This is right, this is wrong, this is holy, this is not holy. Understand, sexual energy is sexual energy. The question is not, you know, you should do it or shouldn't do it. The question is, what are you doing? Are you doing it consciously? Are you understanding what's happening? Are you experiencing it with joy? Are you creating some pain through doing it? Are you manipulating somebody through doing it? All of this is about intent and about understanding the energy of your own body, not about somebody's opinion about what's right and what's wrong.